According to British Prime Minister Boris Johnson's plans, yesterday was supposed to be a day of triumph. All corona-related rules and restrictions should fall, final and irrevocable. In a victory speech, Johnson wanted to celebrate the conquest of COVID-19. Nothing did come of that at first. Instead, Boris Johnson is sitting in self-isolation in Chequers, the official country residence of the British Prime Minister, for the next two weeks. The same applies to other members of the government in their respective locations. And the reason? Health Minister Sajid Javid has tested positive for COVID-19. Javid said on Saturday that he had mild symptoms and was isolated. He has been feeling quite bad since Friday evening and confirmed his infection with a PCR test on Saturday after a positive rapid test. This means that all of his contact persons must also be in self-isolation. In accordance with the British Corona rules, they will receive a corresponding push message from the British Corona warning app, the test and trace system of the NHS Health Service. This also applies to Boris Johnson and Treasury Secretary Rishi Sunak. On Saturday it was said that the two were exempted because they were taking part in a previously unknown pilot project that replaces isolation with daily tests. But that claim caused such public anger that it was withdrawn on Sunday lunchtime. But what will become of the planned abolition of all corona rules is meanwhile in the stars. In recent weeks, this prospect had already weakened. For example, a mask requirement will continue to apply in London's local transport. There will be no obligation to return to the office and businesses are free to continue to enforce protective rules. Nevertheless, the government is sticking to the fundamental lifting of all contact restrictions, although the number of infections is rising steeply with the new Delta variant. On Friday, the number of new infections every day exceeded the 50,000 mark. Hospital admissions and death rates continue to rise only moderately, however. This is due to the success of the UK vaccination program. 68% of all British adults are already fully vaccinated and thus protected from serious illness, if not from infection. Health Minister Javid is one of the tens of thousands of people who have been twice vaccinated who are now newly infected. While fewer and fewer serious illnesses are to be expected in relation to the total number of new infections, many politicians are warning of another side effect. The test and trace system continues to oblige every contact person of a reported infection to quarantine at home, which can be checked by the police. More and more people are now forced to sit at home. There were 530,000 in the week uh, um, ending July 7, 46% more than the week before. If it continues like this, while the number of infections will rise even faster due to the abolition of many rules, the economy will collapse, warn more and more politicians. They are now appealing to the government to lift the quarantine rule, at least for those who have been vaccinated. And I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.